Om Magyana Timur Randasya Gyananjana Recording in progress. Chakshurun Militanyana Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha. Vanchakaupata Rubyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhayevacha. Pajita Nam Pavane Bio Vaishnavibyo Namo Namaha. Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nichananda. Shri Advaita Gadadha Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare We're reading the Nectar of Devotion and we have only just begun the introduction a little bit. <laughs> so Rupa goes, uh, Srila Prabhupada rather in the introduction describes the structure of the book. He says the book is divided into four parts, just like the ocean is divided into four parts. And each of these parts is divided into different divisions. So the ocean is divided into parts like the north, the south, the east, the west. And then there are waves in each of the divisions. You have to... You have to mute, mute everybody, Archana. I'm looking for that option. Give me a second. Oh, I lost it. Your screen is gone. My screen is gone? Yes, can you can you share it again? Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay, we'll continue. And so in the ocean, there are different divisions. Different divisions are like waves. So there's waves in the north, waves in the south, waves in the east, and waves in the west. Uh, 
So in the first part, there are four waves. The first part is a general description of devotional service. And then the second part is about the regulative principles for devotional service. Then the third the third wave is about devotional service in ecstasy. And the fourth wave is about the ultimate goal of life, love of God. So these will all be described as we go through the different waves. So the descriptions of devotional service are described according to the teachings of the previous acharyas. And it's, this is taught to us particu particularly by Srila Rupa Goswami. So he explains that first class devotional service is known by one's tendency to be fully engaged in Krishna consciousness. We have to serve Krishna favorably. So we should understand that one may one we may be in Krishna consciousness but not favorably. So that cannot be counted as pure devotional service. Right? In other words, we may be thinking of Krishna, but it's, it may not be in a good way. So that is not pure devotional service. Pure devotional service must be pleasing to Krishna. Pure devotional service should be free from the desire for any material benefit. Pure devotional service means we simply want to please Krishna. We don't care about our own sense gratification. Desires for sense gratification are material. Means we just want we want to enjoy the results of our work, or some people want to do philosophical speculation. 
เราบางคนเรากุศลใหญ่แล้วนะก็จะอยากมีความสุขจากผลของงานของงานที่เราทําแล้วบางคนเนี่ยก็เป็นนักพาสมีทางจิต So we see people they they do their work different kinds of work to get some material profit. And many people who have philosophy, they they. They talk about their realizations. They write their philosophy. They write volumes of books about philosophy and their realizations. But it's not pure. Not always pure devotion. เราอาจจะเขาจะพูดถึงการวิจารณ์เสร็จสลับใช้แบบปรัชญาของเขาหรือว่าอะไรก็ตามเนี่ยแต่ว่าทั้งหมดนี้เนี่ยไม่ได้ไม่ได้เป็น Their philosophy is often full of just speculation and play around with words. But pure devotional service should be free from all. Uh, desire to enjoy the result of the work and philosophical speculation. We have to learn Krishna consciousness from the authorities by. Devotion. We have to learn from the authorities of what is pure devotional service. Often we do devotional service, but it's not pure devotion. We have our own desires there in the service. So we want to understand what is actually pure devotional service. If we do pure devotional service, then we get the greatest benefit. So Srila Prabhupada explains that devotional service is a sort of cultivation. Srila Prabhupada ในส่งอธิบายบอกว่าการต้นเสรับใช้เนี่ยเป็นการที่เป็นการเอ่อเป็นการIt's not that you. It's not devotional service. Not to sit and do nothing. And devotional service is not to just sit and do silent meditation. If people want to do these things, then there are different other ways to do it. But Krishna consciousness is not like that. So Rupa Goswami uses the Sanskrit word anushilana, which means to cultivate by following the the teachers by following the acharyas. So when we say cultivation, that means there must be some activity.
If we don't do any activity, then just having consciousness, you may say, I'm thinking of Krishna, that's not going to help us. We have to do activities for Krishna. So all the different activities which we do, they can divide it can be divided into two classes. So one, one activity which we do, one class of activity, would be to get a certain result. And the other activity which we do will want to avoid something which is un, un, which is not favorable. And so in everything there's some things which are good and some things which are not good. So we want the good things and we want to avoid the bad things. So in Sanskrit, this kind of activities, the words are, the two words is pravriti and nivriti. Pavriti is what we want and nivriti is what we don't want. Right. Pavriti is the things we want to get, we want to do this, and we want, and nivriti is, the, nivriti is the things we want to avoid, we don't want. Just like pavriti, we want to eat prasadam. Right? We don't want to eat we don't want to eat something which is not offered to Krishna. And Nivriti, we don't want to eat meat, fish and eggs. We want to avoid the meat, fish and eggs. We want to avoid the impure food. Haribo? Haribo, can you hear me? Archana? 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 Recording in progress. Archana, can you hear me now? Yes, Guru Maharaj. Okay, I lost my screen. I have to share it again. Wait. Oh, okay, Guru Maharaj. I will make you a full things again. Um, okay. Okay, good. Now you can. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Okay, so pavriti and nivriti. There are many examples of negative action. Just like Prabhupada gives an example, he says some, somebody may be sick. So he he has to do certain th he, certain things he shouldn't do. Mm -hmm. 
ขาจะมีกิจกรรมบางอย่างที่เขาควรทำแล้วก็กิจกรรมบางอย่างที่เขาไม่ควรทำ Just like uh, you know, if somebody has diabetes, they shouldn't take a lot of sugar. And so there's some certain restrictions on the diet. If you have high blood pressure, you don't want to take a lot of fatty food. So that's negative action. So if we do spiritual life, spiritual life means there's always a lot of activities to do. And these activities are done not only with the body but also with the mind. The mind is active in three stages: thinking, feeling, and willing. In the beginning, we're thinking about something. We haven't decided if we should do it. And then we start to feel more. There's more feeling, more desire to do it. But when we when we come to the willing stage, then that's when we do the activity. So, in, when, with our mind, we should always try to think of Krishna. And we should think how to please Krishna. And we should follow the teachings of the example. Uh, follow the example of the teachers. And follow also the example of the spiritual master, the guru. So the activities can be put in three divisions. We have activities of the body, activities of the mind, and activities of speech. So a Krishna conscious devotee will use his words to preach about Krishna. So that is called kirtan. And with his mind, he should always think about the activities of Krishna. Just like Krishna is speaking on the battlefield of Kurukshetra, or Krishna is trying to, or Krishna is uh, with his different devotees in Vrindavan, doing having pastimes with them. The, the devotee will always think of the activities and pastimes of Krishna. Krishna consciousness in the mind. At the same time, we can use our body to do many activities for Krishna. Krishna. 
should be in relationship with Krishna. So we have to have a good spiritual teacher who is a representative of Krishna in disciplic succession. And the, with the body, we should be, the body should be used under the direction of the spiritual teacher. And the devotee should follow the instructions of the spiritual teacher with faith. And the, when the, the, the devotee should be connected with the guru, when, they, when he's connected with the guru, that is called initiation. So from the date of initiation by the guru, then the connection between Krishna and the devotee in Krishna consciousness is made. And without initiation from a bona fide spiritual teacher, then the connection in Krishna consciousness is not made. So we should understand that practice of Krishna consciousness is not material. Krishna has three energies. There is the external energy, the marginal energy and the internal energy. So the living entities are called the marginal energy. And the material cosmic manifestation is the external or material energy. And then there's the spiritual world, which is the internal energy. So we said the living entities are the marginal energy. So, if they perform material activities, then they act under the material energy, the external energy. But when they engage in activities under the spiritual energy, then these activities are called Krishna Consciousness. So the, those people who are great souls or great devotees, they don't act under the material energy. The devotees act under the protection of the spiritual energy. If we do activities of devotional service, 
in Krishna consciousness, then that's under the spiritual energy. Mm. So Prabhupada explains that it's there's a kind of strength and the strength can be spiritual or it can be material. So by the mercy of the spiritual teacher in Krishna, then we can, our strength can be spiritual. But we should understand we have the choice because we're material, we're the marginal energy. So we can choose, do we want to be under the spiritual energy or under the material energy? The spiritual energy is eternal, full of bliss and knowledge. But the material energy is just the opposite. The material energy is temporary, full of ignorance and full of misery. But we are the marginal energy. We can decide to act either under the material energy or the spiritual energy. In the Chaitanya Charitamrita, there's a book called Chaitanya Charitamrita, which is written by a person called Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami. So in that book, Lord Chaitanya is quoted as saying that when a person is very fortunate, then he comes in contact with a spiritual teacher. So that contact with the spiritual teacher is by the mercy of Krishna. We say by the mercy of Krishna, we get a spiritual teacher. And then by the mercy of the spiritual teacher, we will get Krishna. So if a person is very genuine and serious about spiritual life, then Krishna will help him to find a spiritual teacher. Then with the help of that spiritual teacher, we will be able to advance in Krishna consciousness. So Krishna consciousness is under the, the, the spiritual energy. It's directly connected to Krishna and the spiritual teacher. 
ป็นพระรังชนิดที่เชื่อมสัมพันธ์กับคริสนาแล้วก็พระจังทิพโดยตรง So Krishna consciousness is not is nothing to do with the material world. So when we speak of Krishna, then we're talking about the supreme personality of Godhead, the Swayam Bhagavan. And we mean not only s w a y a m Bhagavan Krishna, but also his many expansions. Krishna has many many forms, many expansions. Yeah. His different parts and parcels. His different yeah. parts and parcels and his different energies. So when we say Krishna, we mean everything. Which is connected with Krishna. And everything and everyone is connected with Krishna. But generally, we mean Krishna and his expansions. Just like Krishna expands, as Baladev, Sankarshan, Vasudev, Aniruddha, Prajumna, Rama, n a s r i n g a Varaha, many incarnations. But the Krishna also has many parts of the Lord, different things that the Lord has said about him. Yeah, Krishna has many incarnations, and me, there's also many Vishnu expansions which come from Krishna. So these are all described in the Srimad Bhagavatam. And it said there are many, as many expansions and incarnations of Krishna as there are waves on the ocean. In other words, they're uncountable. So many. So Krishna. Includes all of his expansions as well as his pure devotees. And Krishna's expansions are all complete. They're full of bliss and knowledge and eternity. ก็เปรียบไปด้วยความเป็นอมตะปลื้มปิติสุขแล้วก็รอบรู้ so devotional service means to practice Krishna conscious activities which are pleasing to Krishna การต้องเสียสละใช้หมายถึงการทำกิจกรรมในกิจนาที่สำเร็จในเชิงบวกที่ทำให้ Uh, so if something is not pleasing to Krishna, then that's not devotional service. So we have examples about some demons. They were always thinking of Krishna, but they were thinking of Krishna as their enemy. ก็มีตัวอย่างของมาร
ที่คิดถึงคริสต์นาตลอดแต่ว่าคิดถึงคริสต์นาในรูปของสุครู Demons like Ravana, Kamsa, Haranyakashipu. Hey, Pa. Come on, let's see. You're not going to talk. Come on, come on. And there are many things, like Ravana, Kamsa, Haranyakashipu. So they were always thinking of Krishna, but they were thinking of him as their enemy. Well, how could he think Krishna is your enemy? So, so that is not devotional service. That is not bhakti. And people sometimes the impersonalists they understand devotional service in a different way. They separate the impersonalists would separate Krishna from his paraphernalia and his pastimes. Um, Prabhupada gives an example. He says, just like the Bhagavad Gita is spoken on the battlefield of Kurukshetra. So the impersonalists, they say, well, yeah, we're interested in Krishna, but we're not interested in the battlefield of Kurukshetra. But a devotee knows that the battlefield of Kurukshetra uh, the battlefield of Kurukshetra on its own has nothing to do with devotional service. But they know that Krishna does not mean just Krishna alone. So Krishna does not, uh, Krishna is always with his associates, his paraphernalia. So if somebody says, give something to eat to the man with the weapons. So the eating is done by the man. The weapons don't eat anything. In the same way, a devotee will be interested in the paraphernalia and the places. Connected with Krishna. So a devotee is interested in the battlefield of Kurukshetra because it's associated with Krishna. But a devotee is not concerned with just any any ordinary battlefield. There may be so many battlefields, but we're not interested in them. We're only interested because Krishna's present. ก็จะมีสมรภูมิอื่นๆมากมายแต่ว่าสาวจะไม่ได้ไ
สนใจอะไรกับพวกนั้นแต่ว่าจะสนใจเพราะสมรภูมิกุรุเชตระเนี่ยมีความเชื่อมสัมพันธ์กับกระชัย So because Krishna is present, that's why the battlefield is so important. So this is what Krishna consciousness is like. It's got to be in relation to Krishna. So devotee is interested in the battlefield of Kurukshetra because Krishna is there. And a devotee is always interested in Krishna's different pastimes and activities. We like to know what did Krishna do there? What did what was Krishna doing at the battlefield of Kurukshetra? So we want to understand what is the definition of a pure devotee. So Rupa Goswami describes that the pure devotee will be always uh, everything he does will be favorable to Krishna and in relation to Krishna. การรับใช้ของเขาเนี่ยจะทำไปในเชิงบวกและทำทุกอย่างที่มันมีความสัมพันธ์กับกระชัน At the same time, the devotee, the pure devotee, he should not have any material desires, and he should give up philosophical speculation. และในเวลาเดียวกันเนี่ยสาวกเนี่ยเขาจะต้องเป็นอิสระจากความปรารถนาทางวัตถุแล้วก็การคาดคะเนทางปรัชญาทั้งหมด So any desire for the service of Krishna, any desire which is not for the service of Krishna, is material desire. And philosophical speculation, then that that is. Based on the thinking that they want to get liberation, they want to be an impersonalist or a voidist. The voidists, they will say, nothing is real. Everything is illusion. And the impersonalists, they will say, everything is one. But the devotee. They will not accept these two philosophies. Just like when we pray to Prabhupada, we pray, "Namaste Sarasati Devi, Goravani Pracharine, Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Paschacha Deshatarine." That I offer my respectful obeisances to my spiritual master. Who is serving his spiritual master, Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati? ในบทมนต์นี้นะคะจะบอกว่าเป็นบทมนต์ที่เราจะใช้ในการถวายให้เสด็จพระบาทซึ่งในบทมนต์นี้บอกว่าข้าพเจ้าขอแสดงความเคารพอย่างสูงแด่พระอาจารย์ผู้ที่ปฏิบัติการรับใช้พระอาจารย์ทิพย์คงตน And he is preaching the message of Lord Chaitanya in the Western world. 
แล้วท่านเป็นผู้ที่สอนเกี่ยวกับศาสตร์ของพระองค์เจ้าคำสอนของพระองค์เจ้าเชตัญญาที่ภาคตะวันตก And he's defeating the philosophies of impersonalism and voidism. แล้วท่านเป็นผู้ที่สอนหลักปรัชญาที่ขัดกับหลักปรัชญาที่ไม่เชื่อในรูปหลักและความเป็นหนึ่งกับเจ้า Voidism is often promoted by the Buddhist teachers. And an impersonalism comes from the teachings of of Shankaracharya. So it's very rare that by philosophical speculation one could ever understand Krishna. This is in the Bhagavad Gita. There's a verse. It says, after many births and deaths. One who is actually in knowledge surrenders to Krishna, Vasudev, but such a soul is very rare. ได้บอกไว้ในพระวจิตแต่ว่าสำหรับบุคคลที่มีปัญญาสุดท้ายแล้วเขาจะมาจบลงกับการที่เขาเนี่ยจะสิโลลาต่อวาสุเดชกิชนันซึ่งโดยวิญญาณผู้ยิ่งใหญ่แบบนี้หาได้ยากมาก So we understand if you go by the path of knowledge, will take many lifetimes, and it's very rare you'll be successful. We should understand, however, the end of philosophical speculation. Is to come to Krishna. Krishna is everything. Krishna is the cause of all causes. So. We should surrender unto Krishna. So, if people can come to that conclusion, if they will surrender to Krishna, then that is good. But if they come to another conclusion. Then that is not good. That is not bhakti. If they come to the conclusion that nothing is real, that there's only the void, nothing, that is not bhakti. And if they come to the conclusion that everything is one, ultimately there is only one, then that is also not bhakti. Okay, and then we want to understand this word karma because sometimes. People think karma means ritualistic activities. So some people are very attracted by the rituals which are described in the Vedas. Just like if you go to a Hindu temple, there'll be a lot of there'll be Brahmins there who will do karma kandi activities. Just like if you go to a Hindu temple, there'll be a lot of Brahmins there who will do karma kandi activities. Just like if you go to a Hindu temple, there'll be a lot of Brahmins there who will do karma kand
karma candy rituals for you. Mm, yes, people who they you know they'll tell you to do for, they do different activities which are described in the Vedas, but it's all for material benefit. So these rituals are materialistic activities. So if we get attached to these kind of activities, then we, we may not be able to understand Krishna. We want to understand Krishna. Krishna can be understood only by devotional service. So we, if we do ritualistic activities, it's, we should understand you just get temporary results and material benefits. Krishna consciousness is based on hearing and chanting and remembering. In the Srimad Bhagavatam, it describes there are nine different processes to practice devotional service. And any other things, then that's not favourable to Krishna. So we should always be careful not to fall into Maya, forgetfulness of Krishna. Just recently one devotee was telling me how, because their husband passed away, so they wanted to do, you know, there's some rituals you're supposed to do when somebody passes away. But, but the lady is a devotee and she's also from a, a Brahmin family. She understood, she said that, I know, she said, if we do the rituals, it will be, there'll be no benefit to it. And she said, the best thing I can do is to, to feed the brahmanas, distribute prasadam to the brahmanas. So when, when somebody departs from the world, then we do like that. We encourage the devotees that will distribute prasadam in the, on the name of the departed soul. So, uh, this is a, that's a devotional process. To work. We don't we don't spend time to do these rituals with karma candy materialistic people. What we do is the Krishna conscious program. Distribute prasada.
แต่ว่าสิ่งที่เขาทําอย่างเดียวเนี่ยคือเขาจะทําการนุทิตตนเสียสละรับสายโอเค we we'll stop here any questions โอเคเราจะหยุดเราจะจบคําบรรยายตรงนี้นะคะใครมีคําถามก็สามารถถามได้นะคะ Yes g u r u m a h a s h from b a k t a k i t i k o n b a k t a k i t i k o n เชิญเลยค่ะ Hare Krishna g u r u m a h a r a j d a n d a w a t Panam Please accept my humble obeisance. Our g o r i s to s h i l a p a p u p a d a Hare Krishna, k a m a t a j i Hare Krishna, ค่ะคำถามของผมมีผมมีข้อสงสัยเกี่ยวกับนวทาพักนะนวทาพักพักติอะครับพักติเก้าประการครับอยากให้ครูมหาลาัอธิบายถึงพักติทั้งเก้าประการนั้นนะครับอ๋อค่ะ So his question is regarding the nine nine uh, process of devotion service that you mentioned earlier. What are those? What are the nine? Yeah. Hearing, chanting, and remembering. First three. สามอันแรกก็คือการสวภาวนาการฟังแล้วก็การระลึกถึง Means hearing about Krishna, and then chanting about Krishna, and then also remembering Krishna. นับแรกก็คือฟังเกี่ยวกับคริชนาในพิสังก็คือสวดชื่อของพระองค์และในพิสัมก็คือระลึกถึงพระองค์ Then worshiping Krishna. แล้วก็บูชาพระองค์ Offering prayers to Krishna. แล้วก็ถวายความเคารพเอ่อถวายบทมนต์ต่อพระองค์ and serving the lotus feet of Krishna แล้วก็รับใช้พระบาทรูปดอกบัวของคริชนา then serving Krishna แล้วก็ทำการรับใช้พระองค์ becoming Krishna's friend แล้วก็เป็นเพื่อนกับคริชนา and surrendering everything แล้วก็สิโลลาทุกอย่าง Those are the nine processes. I have been taught with him. The most important ones are hearing and chanting. The thing that and this important is that is the hearing and the chanting. You have to get a good basis. That the root, the basis of devotional service, hearing and chanting. Yeah. Last ขันสำคัญก็คือการฟังแล้วการสวดภาวนาว่าสองอันนี้เนี่ยจะเป็นลักขันสำคัญของการรู้ทิศต้นเสียสละรับใช้ So you have to hear regularly. You have to chant regularly. จะต้องฟังอย่างเป็นประจำแล้วก็สวดอย่างเป็นประจำ Are you chanting every day? สวดมนต์ทุกวันไหมคะมหาราชค่ะอ๋อสวดเกือบทุกวันนะครับห้ารอบครับ He chant almost every day five rounds Oh you have to chant more than five rounds ท่านแนะนำนะคะว่าให้สวดเพิ่มมากกว่าห้ารอบอะค่ะถ้าเป็นไปได้ครับ Did you go to temple yet ได้ไปวัดบ้างไหมคะอ๋อได้ไปครับไปกับชาย่ามาตาจี He go to temple with Shaya m a t a j i Oh very good ดีมากครับโอเคครับครับ Next question from Shaya m a t a j i Krishna Guru Maharaj, d a n d a w a p r a n a m please a c c e p t my humble obeisances. I'll call it to s i l a b o u a n So today um, I have um, one devotee from Poland. He is um, Kopi Kanta Prabhuji. Um, he would like to ask something from you, Guru Maharaj. Okay. 
Um, first, she wanted to introduce me uh, because I'm her, her boyfriend and we are going to engage very soon and this relationship is very serious. So she's trying to say you <laughs> the truth, actually. And if you want to know me more, uh, feel free to ask me any questions, who I am and from whom I am. Okay. So you're from Poland? Um, originally, yes. But I live permanently in England for about 12 years, 11 years in England. Really. Oh, okay. uh, I took initiation 12 years ago from Chila Bhaktivedanta Narayan Maharaja and then I left Poland to stay in Brahmachari. Uh, but actually after one and a half year I realized that I would be not good Brahmachari then I choose the Grihastha life and I stayed in England um, when I was uh, Pujari still but in, in Grihastha. Uh, then after I took the second initiation from Bhaktivedanta Madhav Maharaja from IPBYS and, uh, and presently I don't belong to IPBYS, I'm independent devotee, I don't want to belong to any organization. Oh, uh, I see. You had some, yeah. you had some difficulties in the organization? Yes, I lost the faith of my second Guru uh, Maharaj because my first Guru Maharaj, Bhaktivedanta Narayan Maharaj, was a real Guru. And the, the second one who gave me Diksha, uh, he is not at the same position. Um, I, I lost the faith in him, him and he wants me to practice different, different kind of bhakti that I, I love, in fact. Uh, uh, is is quite a uh, long long thing, but um, I wanted to ask you a question because I I lead the um, uh, YouTube channel uh, where I preach in Polish language about the Christian consciousness, and recently I've been talking about the nature of soul about Jivatattva. Uh, and I'm not sure if I said properly everything. So could you um, specify me for spe uh, philosophical terms, which as uh, Jiva, Atma, Jivatma, and Paramatma? What are the difference between them four? Jiva, Atma, Jivatma, and Paramatma. Well, Jiva, Atma, and Jivatma, there's the same meaning. I don't see any distinction between them. They, they have Shura the same. Prabhupada has been telling about two birds who are sitting on well, the two, side Yeah, two birds. That's different thing. That's that's the living, the super soul, and the living entity, the jiva, or the jivatma, or the atma. <laughs> the atma can be paramatma, or it can be jivatma. Atma means you know the soul. So Jivatma is indicating the specific, the, specifically the living entity, but Paramatma is the super soul, the, the Lord in the heart. Right? So there's one, sure. there's two birds in the tree, two birds in the tree, there's Paramatma and the Jivatma. Okay. So Jivatma and Jiva is basically the same? Yeah. Uh, I don't, um, in this case, I don't need to, to correct myself anything, so uh, basically I said this uh, properly in my YouTube channel. Okay. So what do you do in England? Uh, um, for, um, as, as my um, basic activity uh, for, for work, uh, I work in a hospital as a cleaner, so nothing special. Uh, but I love Krishna consciousness, so this is my passion to, to, to preach about Krishna consciousness, and I love to read uh, a lot of books about bhakti. Uh -huh. 
and I develop my my knowledge and I share my knowledge on YouTube. So I'm trying to do as best as I can. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm, I'm just trying to understand what, what are your plans if you're going to get engaged with Chaya, you know, uh, uh, you want her to go to England with you, is it? Actually, um, we are going to stay maybe in, in Thailand, maybe in India. We, we just, uh, during discussion about, uh, but definitely not England. I don't really like England, especially as I live in a spiritual deserve. There's a desert. Uh, there's no devotees in my area where I live. I live in by Berkshire County. There's no devotees at all. Only only some Hindu people, but not not Gaudiya devotees at all. No no Eastern devotees. No Gaudiya devotees. Only Hindu people. So I'm, mostly people in this area are atheists. They're what? They Atheists, they don't believe in anything. Oh, atheists, uh huh. Yeah. Um, yes, Guru Maharaj, but I, I need to live in Thailand because I, I plan to preaching um, about Thai people after my big child, Guru Maharaj. Yeah, you, you have your mother also. <laughs> yes, Guru Maharaj. Yeah, she can't leave Thailand, she has to take care of her mother. Yes, yeah, probably no. Uh, anyway. Yeah. So you, if you come to Thailand, will you find a job here, okay, in Thailand? Yeah, yeah. I think something related to English because uh, that is my um, that is my favorite. That I can speak English well, so I can I can work in anything, any any branch which requires uh, speaking English. Yes. Okay. Good. Okay. Very nice. Please best ask Guru Maharaj. Okay. Thank Let's... you for your answer. Okay. My pleasure. Really nice, nice to meet you. Nice yes. to meet you. Yeah. Hare Krishna. Thank you for your mercy, Guru Maharaj. <laughs> okay. Okay. Archana, any other questions? Yes, Guru Maharaj from Yuvati Sachi Mataji. Yuvati Sachi, okay. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Please accept my humble obeisances, O Guru Shashila Prabhupada. Guru Maharaj, tomorrow is Gaura Purnima. How can we celebrate it? Because, for example, I will be at work the whole day. Yes, well, generally, you know, we fast that day until the evening. You know, you're working, so you at least you should drink some something, you know. If you can go without eating, it would be very good. I don't know, you have to consider your capability, your health. If you're, if you're able to go without eating, then try, you know. Maybe you can do at least a half a day fasting. But generally... Oh, I think, uh -huh. I think it's not possible for me, Guru Maharaj. No? Okay. I have, I have, prob I have, I have problem with the stomach. Okay. All right. So, you know, you have health problems, so you have to take food. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. And how can we celebrate maybe uh, to chant Shikshashtakam like this? Oh, yes. You should chant. That would be very nice to chant Shikshashtakam and... You can also, you know, offer arti to Lord Chaitanya in the evening. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. And sing the Gora Arti song. Uh -huh. And then make a nice feast for Lord Chaitanya. Mm -hmm. And make sweets and fruits and offer to Krishna, offer to Lord Chaitanya. And you can distribute. If you can distribute to your students or the next day also you can offer, distribute. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Mm -hmm. You take care. Is it a bit warmer there now? Mm -hmm. Yuvati Sachi, how's the weather there? No? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, no, not warm, Guru Maharaj. <laughs> How cold? What is the temperature? 
Yes, very cold. We have a snowstorm three days. Snow? Snowstorm, a snowstorm, a, a lot of snow. Oh my gosh. Oh. Yes, tomorrow it will be minus 30. Ma minus 30? Minus 30, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Guru no. Makaraj, I, I want to move. We'll pray for you, huh? Yes. Okay. You take care. <laughs> Keep warm. Yes, I, I will try, of course. What, what can I do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Krishna. Yes. Terrible, terrible place. <laughs> Okay. A lot of yes, a lot of snow, very cold, and the Tamaguna. <laughs> <laughs> You're very merciful to be there. Oh yes. <laughs> and give your mercy to that place. Yes, Guru Maharaj, I need mercy so much. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, Guru Maharaj, for your explanation and uh, for your advice. Okay, take care. Happy, happy Gaura Purnima tomorrow. Yes, have a happy Gaura Purnima. We'll be thinking of you. Oh, yes. Thank you very much, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. My humble obeisances. My obeisances. All glories to Prabhupada. Okay, any other questions, Archana? Um, I think no, no, Guru Maharaj. There is one in chat box in Chinese language. Oh, really? So yeah. I, I'm not sure, is that a question or maybe someone can read? Oh, let's see. Sati? Um, yes? Yes. yes. I'm here. Thomas, is she going to okay. come? Okay. Uh, <laughs> Doi. Yes, is is it Dao Jiao religion? Is it impersonalism? Yes, it is impersonalism. Hmm. There's no concept of a personal God there within the Tao religion. Archana? Yes, yes. Uh, yes, the, the, Tao, the, Tao, the Tao religion is an imperson leading its impersonalism. They don't speak about any personal God or creator. They understand everything, you know, they understand the world just to be chance creation. Yeah, <laughs> Of course, they do practice life very much in the mode of goodness. We emphasize the importance of simple living and high thinking. But their thinking does not reach up to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Their thinking does not go beyond the material world. Mm. 
No more. Oh, Vaishnavi Maji. Maybe we take this as our last question. Okay, Vaishnavi Maji. For Vaishnavi. This is all glories to Srila Prabhupada. Uh, this is about uh, the Privirti and Nivirti. Uh, some to achieve uh, uh, the sup uh, to go back to spiritual world, the Privirti and Nivirti. Yes, yes, we do. If we want to go back to the spiritual world, we do. We have to follow both. Just like there is surrender to Krishna. Now, surrender to Krishna means to accept everything favourable for devotional service and to give up what is not favourable. To accept everything favourable means to do hearing and chanting and worshipping Krishna and remembering Krishna. And things which we shouldn't do, we shouldn't do illicit sex, uh, meat eating, intoxication, gambling, we have to give up these things, right? If we do these, if we keep doing those bad things and at the same time chanting Hare Krishna, we won't go back to Godhead. Uh -huh. Yes, Guru Maharaj, I understand now. Yeah. Okay. Thank, thank you, Guru Maharaj. Okay, thank you. Uh, wishing you uh, all a happy Gaurapunima. Thank you. Yes, have a happy Gaurapunima. Thanks, Archana, for translation. Thank all the devotees for translation, Guru Mani. Sati, everyone, have a nice day tomorrow and we'll you. see you again. Srila Prabhupada ki. Yeah. Go back to Vrinda ki. Yeah. Hare Krishna.